Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Old friends come in and move out of life, while new friends show up to fill the spaces left behind. Yes. We might not like it, but eventually everyone learns that nothing can escape change forever. No matter how fraught with danger it may seem, the lure of adventure cannot be denied. Sometimes the danger itself is the pull. Some heroes just want to be the one to discover the next ancient secret, to wield strange new powers. This new threat was more personal than any that had come before, and the fight for their lives shook the foundation of everything they thought possible. But in the end, the town was saved. The heroes had won the day, and everyone could believe for just one moment that maybe things really hadn't changed at all. And then, that moment passed. Jack's eye wasn't enough for it. I wish to speak with Jesse, the gauntlet bearer. What's going on? Where did it come from? Uh, sorry, you must be thinking of a different town because there's no one here named Jesse. Oh, it's so cute when you tiny adventurers lie. Come, speak with me face to face. Oh boy. Admin? Have you ever heard of such a thing? Jesse, what's going on here? Gauntlet bearer? That's all rather suspicious, isn't it? Uh, everyone, everyone, hi. There's nothing to worry about. The giant prismarine colossus and I are gonna work this out and everything can get back to normal, I swear. Okay, so, an admin, a huge colossus in our door. I'm all right with not freaking out, yet. You're going to fix this, right, Jesse? You won't let it destroy Beacon Town, will you? Oh, I'm sure Jesse must have thought of something. Don't worry, everyone. I'm going to try talking to it. Okay. Diplomacy. Nice. That sounds good. <clears throat> I would like to proceed, Gauntlet Bearer. Do not test my patience. Guess you should get up there. Gauntlet Bearer. Clay, coming your way! Thanks, Nell. Perfect. Ah, there you are, Jesse. Storm. Awesome stuff. <laughs> this is going to be perfect. You've got the knack. Why, yes, thanks for noticing. Seriously, you're a natural. That's why I left you the gauntlet. You left it? To tempt you down to the sea temple. But now, your true test begins. 
It is time you no! fight. Fight me, champion. Unless you'd like to see that happen to your entire town. Who knows what I'll do next? <laughs> Enough talk, let's fight. Hold on. Aha! Fighting in broad daylight is boring. Let's add some drama. Oh, he's powerful. <sighs> so much for them. <laughs> Just you and me now, champion. Don't let them down. <laughs> not good, Jesse. Really not good. Beacon Town is gonna be like, like, one big smash fest to this guy. Ugh. Not even Miss Butter's gonna do anything against that Colossus. We need something bigger, like, uh... Like the structure block! Buy me time. I'm gonna plant some arrow towers. That should make Tall, Dark, and Ugly regret smashing my town. One major distraction coming up. Go, Jesse! Hey, Stoneface! Over here! Yeah, that's right! Your courage is so much larger than your puny size. Deliciousness of Miss Butter! I could peek my teeth with that blade. I'll take you down one block at a time! Clever <laughs> <laughs> distraction, Jesse. Structure block! Ha uh ha! -huh. Finders keepers. This tiny thing won't save you, Jesse. Not from me. Okay, this is a little intense, but I guess a giant colossus did follow me oh. home. Hide and seek is beneath you, Jesse. The champion should be better than this. <laughs> if you're going to be a coward, Jesse, just give yourself up. back at the Sea Temple had the same symbol. Too. Yes. What is that? Quick 
version, the admin. He, like, built the world or something. Uh, Kay, are you all right? I mean, he really had you up there. Lucas, you just saved my life. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> I always wanted to ride into battle. <laughs> I sure hope you got an idea here. I saw a spot on the back of his head that I'm hoping might be the key to defeating him. You calm down. Sounds like I better keep him distracted then. Thanks, Lucas. Be careful. Come now, Jesse. All this stalling is just making me angrier. Hey, Lockhead! You want Jesse? You need to go through me first. And I don't think you stand a chance. You're protecting Jesse. Please. All these interruptions are becoming annoying. That ends now. Let's see what you got. Yeah. Anything about me? <sighs> Where are you? Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. Sure would be a pity if. Oops. No! You're gonna wish you hadn't done that, admin. Oh boy. Uh you really uh, think you can defeat me? I don't think. I know. <laughs> Confidence. That was really something. Stay behind me, Stampy! Ah, don't let the Googlies take me! Oh man, these are gonna keep coming in until we get the sun back up. Any idea how to use it? This thing could be super dangerous. How sure are you that this admin guy is gone?
You make a compelling point, Lucas. My hand is still trapped in this freaky gauntlet. <sighs> yeah. Not to be a worrier, but he might not be as dead as we hope. I I'm worried enough for both of us. Someone should keep an eye on this thing. Yeah. I can take first watch. Actually... <clears throat> Actually... I'll volunteer. I want to help. Jesse, I'd say we both do it, but one of us should really get started on the repairs. It's a nice gesture, but maybe you should just let me handle it. Look, I promise. Then the minute I see anything out of the ordinary, I'm coming to get you as fast as my hustle sticks will carry me. My, my uh, my legs. Come on, Jesse, I can do this. Jesse's left me in charge before. All right, Radar. I officially bequeath on you the title of Clockmaster. Thank you, Jesse. I solemnly promise to uphold the duties of Clockmaster and to only use my powers for good. Well, uh, yeah, good. That's good. So what are you going to do now? I figured I'd start with Ruben's memorial. Got pretty trashed. Oh, man. Well, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. That admin just... No respect. Why are you apologizing? It's not your fault. No, it, it was like a... I feel terrible, I'm sorry. And, um... When I asked you what you're gonna do, I was actually talking about that glove of yours. Cause so I gotta tell you, Jesse, this whole admin thing, it's... Well, it's very you, I guess, is what I'm saying. Well, I know you say you're trying to settle down on Beacon Town, but... It just seems like you can't quit that life, you know? I mean, you don't exactly see Axel and Olivia getting mixed up and stuff like this. I don't care if that life keeps trying to drag me back. I like Beacon Town. I like helping people. <sighs> That's great, then. I mean, the people clearly love you. I, uh... I didn't say any of that stuff to be mean. We've had a ton of adventures, and... I just want you to be happy. I mean, that's what that little pig wanted for all of us. Now go rebuild his monument. I promised Stampy and Stacy I'd help them get their houses fixed up. Sounds good. I'll see you later, Lucas. Okay, let's see what we can do for you, buddy. There. Now that is a monument fit for Reuben. I know I never met Robin. Reuben. Oh, right. Righteous. Oh, by the way, Petra was looking for you before. Over that away. 
Thanks, Nell. Aw, oh, come on. You remember Twisting Death Cavern? You couldn't even look at a bat for months, right? Oh, oh yes. Uh, they all just start to blur together after a while. Hey, guys, Petra around? Heard she was looking for me. Oh, uh, yeah, um, helping Nurm get some stuff, I think. Uh, she should be back in a second. Oh, uh, amazing work fighting that admin fellow, by the way. <laughs> Just stunning. Yeah, I would have thought you'd been doing it your whole life. It was artful. What can I say? Just lucky, I guess. Hmm. If there's one thing I've learned about lucky people, there's always more to it than just luck. Got that on a sign back at the shop. It's a little sad that the legendary Jack, the, the Iron Sword of Muji Lake, has been reduced to some uh, what, tour guide. Voss. That's why I think this adventure to Twisting Death Cavern is just what you need to be. <laughs> Shut up. What you should continue to keep uh, just uh, talking about uh, for some day uh, far off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Love theoretical conversations. Oh, yeah. yes, yes, quite. Uh, yes, okay, fine. We have a new adventure planned. Hang on, hang on. I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp and a mesa biome? Hmm. Okay, okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the... Better. Wait, you're leaving with these guys? Uh, yeah. And that's, uh, yeah. That's why we were, um, being weird before and, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, bus possible stuff. Were you even gonna tell me or were you just gonna sneak off? Of course I was gonna tell you. I was just working up to it. Slowly. Jesse, I promise I, I can explain. I just. Whoa, wait, what? It's impossible. This isn't a snow biome. The admin. The one and only. So much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait, you're the admin? Well, that giant... Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. Well, it's kind of cuddly, right? Hold up. That was your idea of fun? Uh, yeah. I mean, with the smashing and the punching and the crazy do-or-die plans to protect the little people. Oh, unbelievable. See, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes, you're perfect for my creations. Perfect. Where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it. <laughs> That's a diamond-class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. You're insane! I know you have your plans or whatever, but leave my people out of it. They're innocent. <laughs> innocent? Or incentive? I don't know. Seems like they've got you pretty motivated. <clears throat> Your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night, forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs, until you recapture that clock. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. It's simple. Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. You're putting innocent people in danger just for your games? Yeah, well, technically, you're the one putting them in danger if you don't go after the clock. So, uh... Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? 
why? Why? Well, because it's fun, obviously. I mean, this is gonna be epic. What? Oh, come on. Time to show this goon what the Skitaro crag jumpers do to town destroyers. <laughs> You think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Ah, strays. Pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors until you take care of that clock. Remember, find the clock, save the town. Bye-bye now. Ah, we need to protect the people. Run! Hide, everyone! I've got a bad feeling more will be on the way soon. Guys? Jesse, I am so sorry. I, I was standing guard, watching it so close, but it just disappeared. I know. Now the situation is just gonna get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. Wherever you're going, I'm coming too. I was given the title and the power of Clockmaster. If it's to keep Beacon Town safe, I'll do anything. Really? Oh man, proud of you, Radar. Really? Of course! Well, I... I won't let you down. All right, everyone, we've got a clock to find. Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Hmm. Mm. I promise, I will come back. Hmm. Mm hmm. You stay safe, Nurm, okay? Hmm. Is that thing gone? Yeah, for now. I mean, block this up after we leave, would you? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. Thanks, guys. Bye, Nurm. Hmm. We're all counting on you. I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is. mean to sound suspicious, but do we really think the admin is going to keep his word about this clock? Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. If he knows what's good for him, he better keep his deal. When we get the clock, the town's freed from eternal darkness. And hey, if he doesn't stick to the deal, we'll just need to find another hunchier way to convince him. Jesse, uh, can we, um, talk? I'll just walk a little more over here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, uh, 
Uh, me, me, me too. About that trip with Jack. I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. To, I don't know, find myself? You didn't invite me. You didn't even tell me until I caught you. I, I thought you would be busy with all the rebuilding and everything. I, I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you, that you didn't need me anymore. Uh, hello, just because we don't spend as much time together doesn't mean I'm still not your friend, dummy. Uh, see, this is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just... Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's... changed. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. But me? I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? How, how that feels? I mean, if I'm honest, it does seem like adventure is your calling. You know, the open road. Right? That's kind of what I thought, too. Luna? Is that a scarf on that llama? Huh. Think she ran away again? Uh, excuse me. Speaking for the group, you guys know a llama? Where'd she come from? This is Luna. She's kind of cute, right? We returned her to her owner, Stella. She is cute, isn't she? Everyone get away from my llama. No. Jesse, my rival. Should have known I would find you here. Uh. Hush, I'm talking. Yeah, I'm still really not your rival. Really. So you say. And yet here we still meet. Okay. What is going on here? Lucas, this is Stella. Leader of Champion City. This is Jack, Voss, and Radar. Jacques, was it? As in the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow. That's what. I came out to investigate, and surprise, surprise, it's you. If you're smart, you'll undo whatever it is you did and put things right again. Just... wow. It wasn't me that did this, it was the admin. Huh, I don't know who this Adam is, but it seems awfully rude to pin it on him. No, admin. Ad-min. He's like... oh, he's a big, giant, bad guy. Super powerful. Hmm? All right. Let's say I believe you. I suppose I'll just have to find a way to fix it. It's my world too, after all. You'll see, I'll fix it all on my own. I don't need any of you losers. Whoa, the, the moon is stuck. Okay, that's freaky. So, Stella, you were saying? I was saying that maybe I'll stick around for a bit, just to keep an eye on you. You know, I've been thinking about it, and I totally agree that adventure is probably the closest I've got to a thing. But did this adventure really have to include Stella? <laughs> Okay, Radar? Yes, yes, 
Totally fine. Guys, shh. We need to keep an eye... Whoa. I'm... actually kind of speechless right now. Man. And it's all ice? <laughs> Astounding. <laughs> I know. I'm right there with you, Jack. That is incredible. It's like I was telling you, Radar. Never a dull moment. Hey! Found the clock! Oh, perfect. But how are we gonna get up there? Well, the admin mentioned challenges. I'm guessing there's gonna be, like, obstacles or something when we get... <laughs> Wait, do I have this right? Are you telling me that this admin is so powerful, he built all of this instantly? You sound almost jealous. Almost? Of course I'm jealous of power like that. Power is how the world is run, little man. It's what people respect, what they listen to. Stella, I know you haven't met him yet, but I promise you, the admin is nuts. <sighs> yeah, you really don't want any part of that. Trust me. Huh, lesser minds often do mistake true genius for madness. <laughs> On second thought, maybe I can't wait for you to meet him. Stella, you'll never change. Oh, I thought I recognized you. You're the quitter who used to work on my inventory management team. Wait, wait, do, do you two know each other? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I used to live in Champion City. What? I don't know what he told you to get on this little team, but I don't think he even knows how to use a sword. No, oh, you don't know anything, Stella, so zip it. Ooh. How do you put up with that little voice of his, Jesse? I know I never could. Hey, Radar is really brave, all right? Oh, yeah. Really super brave, I'm sure. Who even invited you anyway? I'm just telling you, Jesse, I'd be careful about counting on him for anything. Come along, Luna. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. I'm not the person she thinks I am anymore. I've changed, and I can prove it. I can be different, braver. Yeah, you've definitely changed, Radar. It's always important to try and grow. Yeah, and I promise, I'll make you proud. Would you look at that? Haven't seen anything that grand since the last time I visited the overcompensating builders of Igesh. No kidding! Oh boy, my favorite! Mystery levers! Okay, what's going on? Aha! Hello, everyone! <laughs> please, please gather round! Don't be shy! Here we go again. Oh, look how many of you there are. Lovely. Your choice of company, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this place is really for the best of the best. Not, uh, how do I say this, losers? Mr. Admin, mighty sir, I'm Stella, founder of Champion City. Maybe you've heard of me? No, never. It's actually perfect, Champion. I can see you all have dreams of greatness. It's very cute. This construct before you, it's meant to see who's worthy of that greatness. Separate the strong from the weak. So, We'll see how your little companions do, hey? You watch it, Admin. Well, don't even worry about it, because my friends here aren't weak. Mm-hmm. Cool. If you say so. Oh, come now, don't be that way. This? This is all for you! New creatures of my own design, as well as mining fatigue, at every turn. Wouldn't want you cheating, of course. I don't like rule breakers. It's simple. You all want to get to that clock, but only the best of the best get to partner up with me in the future. But that could be you. Cook this place up just for you. I mean, it's pretty... Well, I was going to say pretty cool, but with the whole ice motif, that just seems like I was going for a lame pun, so... Anyway. I'll give you one thing, Admin. This place is pretty spectacular. 
That's what I like to hear. I knew you'd understand. Oh, ho, ho, I am just ecstatic that you see things my way. Thrilled! <laughs> so, how about we get this show on the road? Nice landing. Ah, it's nothing. It's just my perfect reflexes and photographic muscle memory. Well, that's it then. The way is shut. Yes. Now I suppose the only way out is through. Yeah, and smashing that clock. Well, we're not all going to be smashing the clock. Say what now? You heard the admin. He only wants the best of the best. And that's going to be me. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Sorry, handsome. Might as well quit now. Wait, but what about your people? Champion City. You're totally selling them out. Boy, do you think, Small. If I'm working with the admin, I'll be able to help Champion City even more. I hope. Wow. It's... it's amazing. <laughs> You're his little buddy, Jesse. You know anything about this partnership he's offering? Imagine everything you could create, everything you could do, with a prize like that. All I know is that I don't trust anything the admin says. Uh, I'd agree with that. Come on, Luna. Enough of these losers. We've got treasure to find. Hey. Treasure sniffing llama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell your friends. <clears throat> hey now. Oh, that poor llama. What? Whatever, Stella, you're not getting to that clock before us. You know why? Because you're the worst. Whatever, Jesse. Stars always have to put up with the little people at the bottom. Let's go, Luna. <laughs> That is certainly a woman who knows what she wants. Are you kidding? She's nuts. Ah, well, no one knows better than me that the admin's traps and constructions mean business. You've got a point there, old friend. I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. Yes. And it's like the admin said. Not everyone here might be uh, up for the task. I mean no offense by it, just uh, stating facts. All in this together, all right? No one's getting left behind here. Ah, <sighs> fine. But if something happens to them, that's on you, not me. Come with me, Jack. Uh, let's try and scope this place out. I'm... I'm gonna go talk to them. Well, I have never been so offended. Not in my whole life. Yeah, that wasn't the coolest. Wasn't the coolest? Oh, no. Misfiling your acacia wood during material organization week isn't the coolest. That was... That was a stripe too far. But just because I'm not some sword-swinging meathead, they think Radar. they can just walk all over me. They, they think they, they look at me and my, well, my, my skinny little arms and, and they think they know me. They think Radar. they know me. Ah, sorry, I had to get that off my chest. I need you to remember that out there, the world is stuck in eternal night. And there are a lot of scared people back in Beacon Town who are counting on us. You're right. Uh, we were talking and decided that it would be best for everyone if Radar stays here with Lucas while we go get the clock. Ah. That's it, Luna, Hello. darling. <laughs> She's got the clock sent! <laughs> Later, losers! We're wasting time! Wait! It's like Jesse said. We can't trust the admin. Sure, it looks like Luna found something, but that's... Just what the admin wants us to think. You 
saw the llama! Jesse, you're coming, right? We could really use a hand over here. I gotta go with them. Be safe, okay? If you're sure. I knew you'd make the smart choice. Okay? Definitely. What a rush. I'm all right. I'm okay. I am so sorry. I'm okay. Really. Just getting my adventure legs. I'll be better in a minute. Hey, it's okay. Take the time you need. Yeah. We'll wait. No, 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 no. Oh, it's not so bad. I can do this. I gotta say, if you're having a hard time with the minecarts, you might not find what comes next. Hello there, it's me again, your friendly neighborhood admin. <laughs> Pretty proud of this challenge, not gonna lie. I was feeling very inspired by the concept of karma. I I'd tell you why, but... Well, that spoiled the surprise. I'm sure you understand, right? Real heroes live for surprises. Unexpected dangers. Oh, that's all right. Tell me. I'm cool with spoilers. I just told you I'm not going to spoil the surprise. Just play along here. Let's just say I hope you're feeling good about your archery skills, hmm? Between you and me, though, champion, I'm less worried about your archery than I am about your choice of companions. Let's see if I can shuffle the board a bit, hmm? Give you another pair of hands to help out? Where? How? He's no Jesse. But he's better than that other guy, right? Oh, 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 dear. All you need to do is activate the shooting gallery, hit all the targets, and the door will open. <laughs> Easy, right? Okay, but what are those pumpkin heads for? Don't worry, Jesse. We'll figure it out. Bet this will come in handy. Boss, are you okay? Oh, Jesse! It was the most startling thing. One minute there, the next minute, poof! Well, welcome to the party, I guess. <laughs> I, I know that I haven't been at my best in the time that we've known each other, but I promise, I, I do know what I'm doing. Don't worry, Voss, I believe you. Everyone's allowed to get a little rusty. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Thank you. Now, come on. Let's solve whatever devious challenge the admin has set before us. Huh. 
wonder what's in this hopper. Always good to have string around. A button? Maybe it turns this whole thing on. I don't have anything to shoot those targets with. Time to meet your maker! some targets, huh? <laughs> he really reminds me of us. You know, back in the day, eager to make his mark. Always ready for whatever's around the next corner. He's lucky to have you, giving him a helping hand and all. Yeah. He'll learn from the best. <laughs> Come on. How do you turn this stupid thing on? <laughs> Looks like he needs our help. shooting targets with. Got everything I need. Just need to get this thing moving. All right, Button. You're mine. Lucas, show the admin who he's messing with. Radar? Huh, this is gonna be easy. gonna steal some of those moves. Here comes round three.
bad. Not bad. You're a fine shot. Almost feels like I made this challenge too easy for you. Oh, wait. No, I'm totally messing with you. Time for level two. <laughs> Hang on! What are you... Oh, man. Look out! Boss! Jesse! Take care of yourself! Get out of here. Stage three. That wasn't your fault, Radar. Voss has to be somewhere in this place. We'll find him. Taste my bravery? Well, I figured it was appropriate. That was intense. Would it be weird for me to go in for a hug? 
Cause uh, I'm kinda feeling the hug vibe right now. Let's stick to a high five, all right? It's cooler. Yeah, super cool. Petra! Hey, have you guys seen Voss? One second he was with us and the next gone! <laughs> deserves this. Not even Stella. She might be a bit stuck up and she doesn't really treat anyone that nicely, but Stella's been totally impossible, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't help her. Ugh, you have a point. Uh, okay, no, 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 no. This is all wrong, people, wrong! You're not supposed to help each other. The losers are supposed to lose. Like spectacles over here. There was no way Radar would have fought his way out of that room without you. You should have just cut him loose. Jettison that baggage. Seeing someone like you held back by that? Oh, painful. He's as good as any of us. He has just as much right to be here. <sighs> Fine. You convince me. It's not often I give second chances. One condition, though. Hey, no! Ah, 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 oh, no, 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 no! Oh, man, not good! Ah, ah, no! He's so small! Let's see how our bucko does on his own, eh? What do you think the chances are without Jesus? You! We have to do something. We'll have to maneuver past all that cacti. Floating lava? That's just, that's crazy! There's a door. Go for the door! He's not gonna make it. He can't just stand here. Jesse! Here we go. the door! Jesse! Jesse, I just had a thought. Maybe... Maybe I can do this. Maybe I am a hero. We're not! Uh, radar! This... This is impossible. The admin told us to go through his stupid challenge, but maybe we can find another way. Did anyone... Luna? If that llama can get to the other side of the wall, so can we. Yeah, we're never punching through that. Anyone got anything to make a pickaxe? I have some sticks. Three diamonds! It sounds like a diamond pickaxe to me. going up and our friends went up and that's where we're headed to uh hate to point out the obvious but we can't climb oh no
keep my llama safe. Especially from those. Especially from... Four of the admin's freaky mobs.
stopped all the celebrating, but escaping? I can't leave without Voss. Go ahead, guys. We'll catch up. Just... Just hurry, okay? I don't like worrying about you. What's your angle? Waiting around for the admin. would never have survived in my sea temple that long. I am disappointed, Jesse. You obviously just don't have what it takes to really be my friend, my partner. Such a pity. Such a waste. Are you serious? I would never be your friend. You're nuts. And you? <laughs> well, you are incredibly bold. Ah, uh, excuse me, Mr. Admin, sir. I just wanted to say that I would love to be your partner. But you... lost. Technically, yes. But unlike them, I actually appreciate what you're offering. You don't say. Stella, I don't know if you've noticed, but what he's offering is absolutely crazy. You can't really mean this. No, but I do, Jesse. Jesse, I really appreciate you saving me. Love ya. Mean it. But you obviously don't understand the magnitude of what this... this Paragon is offering. Huh. But, uh, Stella, was it? Yes, sir. See, she may not have the skills, but that is a terrific attitude. Your attitude, on the other hand? Oh, well. There's nothing that hurts more than broken hopes. I made this for you. Just for you. And how do you repay me? You cheated! How could you do this to me? Hey, we did exactly what you said, didn't we? We got your stupid clock. Nah, nope. You were more interested in saving those loser friends of yours. That practically negates all of the other stuff. I gave you so many chances! What? <laughs> it has no orbit to waste. No, no! You might not be worthy. Ah! Technically... Petra here was the winner. Oh, don't get me wrong. There are quite a few flaws we'll have to work through, but we'll get there. In time? No! No, 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 no! Petra! Where did she go? Oh, don't even worry about it. It's not for a loser like you to worry about where the cool people go. Petra! Oh, no! <laughs> like I said, not for you guys to worry about. The only loser I see here is you. 
What? I'm done letting you make me feel bad. I prefer to feel good. And I'm gonna feel real good when I send you two to a place where you'll never see the light of day. Ever again. No! Get me! Must be a special class of trouble to end up here. The admin, well, this is where he sends the people who he has special plans for. You may have noticed, it's not a very nice place. And the people, well, they're not very nice either. 